This is my mother-in-law Louise. Oh, nice. And this is my cow Louise. And this is farm to Brookdale. So about four weeks ago, we started a batch of wild crafted brew. Hello chickens, what are you today? And uh, anyway, wild crafted brew is made with all ingredients um, that we foraged right here on the farm, except for the molasses and the sugar. And uh, well, we're gonna open a bottle of one of those today and uh, share with you a little bit about what it tastes like and at the end of the episode we'll also give you some information about how to brew it yourself. We don't write anything down or anything like that but uh, we'll give you some tips and, and some pointers. Hello chicken, how are you today? We're about to open one of Sue's homemade brews. You gotta put that underneath here. Oh, here. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Cool. Oh. <laughs> so too soon. Only a little though. Yeah. It's not bad. Not like last time, man. It, it lost about every single drop of beer in that bottle last time we opened it. And look at that. That looks like really tasty beer. Well we'll find out. Why don't you taste it? <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Oh my god, it's coming out! <laughs> <laughs> It just continues. You need to go get glasses. Go. Oh my God. I don't want to pour it here, all in here. Here, let me drink it. No. Yeah, sure. You can taste it. Okay. I'll taste it. I think maybe we got enough out now. Mmm. Is it bad? <laughs> it's a bit. Nasty? Uh, what do you think? Weird. But not bad. Mm -hmm. Not something you'd want to drink a whole lot of, no. but it's but better it's than the last one. No, I, I don't know. We need to check and see what the percent is. Good deal. Let's do it. Okay. Look at that. It looks like a good pour. Okay, let me try this. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. Mm, I like that. Hmm. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Takes a little getting used to, I guess. It does, but for free beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what? What, Sue? Oh, what did you put in that? Oh gosh, I don't know. I have to you remember? Let's do the uh see what the All right, we got to measure the percentage. Sue's going to do that and I'm just going to drink. Mm. It's nice. It's a bit sourer than the last one. No, maybe it's the well, I put more my sugar in it because it was too carbonated, so it's yeah. going to be. And that's why it didn't explode. And, and, well, it did. well, we didn't lose it. Last time we opened one in the kitchen, or I did. And, uh, hmm. You can pan up there, yeah. See, there's a little bit. <laughs> Staying left. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a sun uh, shaped beer stain on the ceiling. Just over 5%. Just over 5%. A bit cloudy, but you know that's all the good uh, yeast in there, and Actually, might burp I think it's a little bit more. To six percent. No. Can you see, I, you can't get that let's in see if we can see through there. We got this uh, hygrometer. Oh, Sue just built her beer. <laughs> uh, no, you can't see through it. You can pan down in there. And like but this is what it looks like, and. Uh, it's you not measure a it. It's a refractometer. Refractometer, yeah, that's it. Anyway. Whoops. That was our beer glass. That was the little bit. I've oh, still got my a, I 
still got my other. Okay, good. My whole beard. You didn't lose the real beard, beard glass. All right, well, we'll let you know what the ingredients are here in a second. <laughs> Yum. Stop Yum. it. Stop it. <laughs> Wildcrafted brewing is a lot of experimentation, especially for beginners like us. This brew here we'll probably never have again because there are so many factors involved and ingredients that we just don't write down. Uh, best thing to do is find a good book, start with that, and it'll be a good foundation for getting into the brewing world of Wildcraft. I'm pretty sure this is more than 6%. <laughs> 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 <laughs>